Hey guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and we've got another budget deck guide for you. We've got the budget mid-range hunter. So a really solid deck. It's very, very similar to the previous mid-range hunter that ran Master's Call in the uh, meta before this. It was probably, it was most assuredly a tier one deck. It was very fun to play uh, for a lot of different players. It's really cheap and it does the job very consistently. Uh, consistently. So taking a look at the deck that we have here, as you can tell, it has the same sort of package in it. But uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with how we do our deck guides, we'll talk about the deck, why I have what I have in here, and then from there we'll head into some games where you can see the gameplay and how I play the deck. So with that, uh, Shimmerfly, uh, this is a pretty solid one drop. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, the one mana one one death rattle at a random hunter spell to your hand, that spell, and a lot of the times, hunters have a lot of really good spells, whether it's kill commands, deadly shots, mark shots, baited arrows, uh, revenge of the wild uh cybernetic chip i mean hunters actually have a really solid uh pool of spells to pull from and shimmerfly does a really good job at pulling those plus it's a decent dire frenzy target and it's a nice turn one play normally we don't like playing spring paw on turn one we like rushing it into a minion or maybe buffing like a scavenging hyena so this just adds a couple uh, extra chip damage to the early game spring paw bread and butter of the early game and also trading uh whether or not you've got like the timberwolf spring paul the leox spring paul you know the uh spring paul with the uh scavenging hyena there's tons of combos that you can use with this card to clear minions uh, or just add pressure on the board timberwolf really solid one drop in the deck at first like it just looks like you know one mana one one your other beasts have plus one attack it's kind of like eh, by itself it's really bad but in combination uh with cards like the unleash the hounds in combination with stuff like spring paul uh timberwolf is it's a card that'll actually win you a lot more games than you'll think really powerful stuff tracking this kind of just finds what you're looking for in the deck so whether you're looking for like a top deck of a minion top deck of like a uh, kill command or like a deadly shot it just kind of helps you find what you're looking for scavenging hyena is uh kind of like the edwin van cleef of the deck you can think about it like that whether or not you're using scavenging hyena alongside like tundra rhino and unleash the hounds or maybe you're just doing a scavenging hyena you know uh, unleash the hounds on turn five and as we know unleash the hounds for every enemy minion summon a one one doggo and those doggos kill themselves which is very sad but regardless it's for the greater good of buffing our scavenging hyena uh, hence all the little doggo bones <laughs> in this picture uh but yeah this guy is uh, is gonna win you a fair share of your games with this deck buffing this guy you know killing off like anywhere between three to five other beasts in a single turn is insane you know this guy easily gets up to eight plus attack animal companion that's been a bread and butter of a mid-range hunter for a long time uh all of the beasts that are good you know some you want others than other, some that you want others in certain situations than others but obviously a really good card deadly shot this is our uh removal in the deck there's not normally we don't like kill commanding our opponent's minions we, we if we have to we will but kill commands go face deadly shots kill big taunts and that's the way it's always going to work uh, master's call is our draw potential in the deck or our draw mechanic um it's it's insane you know a three mana draw three beasts is crazy and um, that's why we don't run any other cards in the deck. Every card has to be a beast. So we're kind of limited. And some of the cards like, Rob, why don't you play Houndmaster? Well, it's not a beast. And for Master's Call to really get full effect, we have to only run beast minions. Uh, Unleash the Hounds, we've kind of covered it. Just really good against other aggressive style decks and buffing up your Scavenging Hyena. Dire Frenzy. Okay, so this is an interesting one. There's a lot of debate like, oh, Dire Frenzy, and then you want a Master's Call, or we got a Master's Call, and then we Dire Frenzy. It all depends on the certain matchup, because after you Dire Frenzy, remember you're putting those beasts in the deck, and then, of course, if you master's call and get those beasts right away that's a hu huge tempo play in it like you know blows out a lot of games but that always is, is in that always isn't the case um so it just depends on the matchups Some matchups you will be using dire frenzy before and some matchups after uh life drinker obviously a really really solid card you know deal three damage heal three to your hero it's good in the aggro matchup it's a really solid turn four play it's a great dire frenzy target life drinker all around just a pretty solid card plus it's a beast baited arrow this is probably the bread and butter of your turn five you know your opponents play zilliax you baited arrow zilliax and it feels good every single time no matter how many times you play this baited arrow on zilliax feels real good and we like that we like that a lot uh tundra rhino this gives your other beast charge which is insane <laughs> so if this card normally sticks you go like tundra rhino into a Sav uh, savannah high main the following turn and savannah high main has charge and that charge hits your opponent's face you probably just win that game um if you would be like hey rob you know how do i make this deck better you know added zuljin <laughs> adding zuljin to like any deck makes it better um it's a really really solid card you could also think about adding um unleash the beast um which is also a pretty good card this new uh 
this guy right here um so that's pretty good uh, but besides that the deck does what it's supposed to do and it does it really really well um with that if you enjoy it and the deck does get you some wins throw a like throw a keck xd in the comment section below that's good enough for me and um yeah let's get into the games enjoy them guys <sighs> so what would we have done that game that would have changed i don't think this deck can like we would have had to like make uh, I, I guess the, the the play is that the when we baited arrow the the thing got sapped right like that's just not good like the sap just like it wrecks us so it was definitely unleash earlier and make them like not do the edwin play Ooh, little dicky i love little dicky what song What's the song? This goes to three if I trade there. You need to play two Murlocs. It's actually not that hard for him to play two Murlocs. Save that money. All right, I got you. We're actually gonna listen to like two little dicky songs we're gonna listen to save that money first as it's a song request by your boy and then after that we're gonna play something else it'll be a surprise for you this is let it's not as popular as some of his other songs but i thought it was pretty good oh jeez, really all right Good news, guys. We've got plans. Bad news is we're going to hope he doesn't play the Cold Light Seer. If he plays the Seer, we lose. If he doesn't play the Seer, most of the time we win. It, there we go. This is the song. But he ain't got it all wrong. <sighs> Maybe I should have killed this, but I think this is fine. be bloodlust he has to trade two minions then all right so we drew bloodlust all right best card we could draw is another unleash no command all right What are you thinking? Just a high main? I'm thinking high main literally just trade. Apparently he plays War Mage. Oogie. Yikes. Toads. Toads. Yikes.
Does Bloodlust just kill me here? 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He's 3 off. I see the fan. Am I off by one here? Because this is 12, 17. This is three. Am I really off by one damage? This, this. Trade, trade. This goes to four. That's 16. And then hero power. That was close. That could have been an easy one to mess up. It, really, it looked like kill command like was most assuredly the most damage, but it wasn't, which was weird, right? To think not playing kill command to play two minions that have four HP each for more mana than three, like what? They didn't like, you know what I mean? It just didn't look right, but it was, which is weird. It's a male pregame. <laughs> What's your favorite MCU movie? Not taking two in count, Endgame or Infinity Warrior? Um. That's a good question. All right, hopefully Huffer doesn't die. If Huffer doesn't die, I'm in it to win it. I don't know. I need all the MC movies listed out. All MCU movies. All right. Let's take a look. See here. I've honestly never seen Ant Man. Why can't I like click? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no side-scrolling thing? Can I, like, there it is. Okay. Alright. After this game, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll calculate these important numbers. I'm actually gonna kill this. And I don't know if that was right or not, because I could have deadly shotted, but I feel like there's better cards to deadly shot in this guy's deck. I liked Doctor Strange. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Hopefully I draw a Huffer here. Brilliant. Yo, somebody subbed? Yo, John Thomas with the sub. For uh, six months, half a year. Nice. I like the original Iron Man. I like the original Deadpool. Ooh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That was probably one of the better ones. I really like that one. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? So I like Tundra Rhino. We'll trade. We can do this and trade. And that's six. And this turns into six. But this has four. That has three. Kill Command. Deadly shot. I don't like deadly shotting. So let's let's first we'll do we'll do this.
Let's see what spell we get. Doggo? Does Doggo change anything? Not really. Alright. I haven't seen Shazam, but I heard really good things and I want to see Shazam. Ghost Rider was like fucking asshole. Same thing with Green Lantern, no offense. Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man for sure. Batman vs Superman was... Eh, eh. It wasn't like fucking poop, but it wasn't very good. Not bad. What was what play? The kill command play? What was wrong with the kill command play? Oh, by the way, this is what I've been saving uh, Deadly Shot for. Oh shit, did I just miss lethal? No. For some reason I thought the baited arrow would give me a dude. <laughs> it would if you used it last. Oh yeah, because we would overkill him for three. <laughs> or overkill him for two. Fucking lil dude. Alright, I was really wishing we wouldn't play Hunter. I guess Hunter... It's better than playing against a warrior, right? I think I just hardcore look for Shimmerfly, Spring Paw, and then Animal Companion, right? Or Unleash the Hounds. I found two, but Tundra Rhino High Main is really bad. Like, really bad. Because we have, like, no play until turn five, basically. Because we don't want to use this early. This is a card we want to draw into. Maybe, like, we keep tracking in this matchup. Check you with me. Alright, hopefully this guy has like a weak turn too, and then I can coin masters. What is my purpose? Yeah, this is fucking ass. I, I still don't have a turn three play. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is bad. This is very bad. Am I am I forced to like kill command this? Like what the fuck do I do? Every time I just lose the board against this mech hunter. Every game I just end up losing the board against it. We do have the Timberwolf, Unleash the Hounds, but the problem is they just play the Spider Bomb card and then like they kill our big Hyena or whatnot. So I don't think I'm going to do a big Hyena play. But it also sucks that we drew both High Mains and Tundra Rhino. These are the biggest cards in the deck. Like if we drew like maybe Baited Arrow, like Baited Arrow kills a minion and then summons a minion. Yeah, that's the best play you could have made for that turn. You want me and do your job. Go get him, Life Drinker. Get him. So now it sounds a little microbots. So we'll have to use, like, when this thing pops, we'll have to be, that's when we do the, the unleash for the maximum doggo power. Maximum doggo power. Go Drinkers. Baby. One mine. There's a baited. Is baited something we do? Yeah, 
Like, I'm thinking about just life drinker, shimmer fly, face. But playing a 5-5 five five does look kind of exciting. Maybe it's something like this. This game, we better be saved by Timberwolf Unleash for 12 damage burst. Or, I mean, we're both at 23 and our board states, you know, they're not that different. I mean, he, I don't know what's in his hand, but as long as he doesn't have, like, that card, we would have been fine. That's what I was scared of. Because now he kills the 3-3 and then he kills the 5-5 five five for free. I mean, that's literally exactly what I didn't want to happen. And now I just kind of lose. Brilliant. <sighs> Alright, so I played the snipe in case he has the five six mana four four, right? That does one damage to everything. So I'm hoping he like just plays that out. But if he like combines it with the three six then like everything still dies anyway, right? Why would he attack with the poisonous guy first? Because if it was freezing, then he would have just lost. Well, maybe not, no. Yeah, this he had the guy in his hand. So we end up losing anyway. Of course the game before we're gonna hit rank five again. To be on our win streak. Because this game fucking hates me. Is there any top decks that could make it happen? Probably not. Hyena was just slightly too late there. Yeah, no matter what we play. It's, we're just dead. Massacre. Yeah, that one turn with the poisonous spider bomb guy. Like, what do we do? infuriating Tremble before the might of the elves. and it comes down to draws you know what I mean like if we would have drew like spring paws or like earlier game stuff but like when you draw like both your savannah high mains a tundra rhino and your baited arrow like that's every high costing card in your deck like granted we do have two baited arrows two tundras and two savannah high mains but that's six out of 30 cards and if we have eight cards in our hand and four of them are them, it's it's like, hello? Maybe you play the songs, hear all the lyrics so I can sing along. I can sing along. I don't know if playing Master's Call there was better than the Spring Paw. Probably was. Because this is like not utilizing mana to the fullest. And it makes it so Life Drinker is like not on curve very good either. But either way, this goes face. Okay. I'm at full health. So like Master's Call just kind of looks better. It's also like a bigger minion to get hit by this, and then these guys get traded into, so that doesn't really like work out very nicely either. But it does get the beast out of our deck. How'd your semester end? We got double A's. It was good. Granted, we had like one of the, I think we had the weakest, shittiest person I've ever had in my group ever in all of my undergrad and graduate studies in my group. 
it, it was amazing. Like, it wasn't amazing, but it was, like, a, amazing how, like, he could have made it, like, that far. Like, I have no idea how someone of his caliber, um, like, made it that far through school. It blows my mind. As long as he doesn't have Zilliax, we're fine. Consecration actually clears board. Holy shit. Alright, that was intense. I should probably make the assumption I'm never going to be, um, being able to attack between, like, Noble Sacrifice and all that shit. So, I should just take my Life Drinker value while I can. Alright, so there's the, there's, yeah. So, playing, like, Tundra Rhino and, like, all this Fan High main stuff, like, all of the damage we're gonna be doing is gonna be in the air damage now. Oh. Okay. Alright, so if I tracking, is there a lethal out here? Or do I just like baited arrow? Alright, so if as long as he doesn't draw Zilliax where you're fine. But if he Zilliax is this guy, that's bad. Uh, we're studying marketing slash business administration. <clears throat> All right, we got him. No Zilliax for you. 